Hi friends, welcome back to Art Tutorials. This is React JS full tutorial series, and in today's episode, we are going to stick to basics and fundamentals, which is learning about the project folder structure. Why is this important to learn? As a beginner, as someone who is trying to learn React JS, you need to get the basics right. A lot of tutorials will not teach you this. And I try and focus on the foundations and the fundamentals because that's where the real knowledge and that's where the real problems you would see when you're working on day to day. Let's get started. I'm sure at the end of this tutorial, you would be comfortable with the folder structure and be confident to start writing your applications. This is part three of the React JS full tutorial playlist. In the previous episodes, we have seen introduction. We have learned about installing React JS. If you haven't checked them out, please do check them out as well, so that you have continuity in learning. Today, we are focusing on project folder structure. That is this tutorial. All right. So today I'll not do much of theoretical knowledge, but rather we'll jump into the code. We will see the folder structure into the app that we developed using create create react app. Right. So let's go do some hands on and see make some notes. So if you are following along, you would see that I'm making notes for each episode for you. I will keep them in a GitHub link so that it's easily accessible to you. Alternatively, as I start, um, you can always reach out to me at my personal email ID Surya dot Arad at Gmail dot com. If you have any doubts, just reach out to me. I'll be happy to answer and help you. All right, so let's start with episode number three notes, which is about project folder structure, right? So today we are focusing on project folder structure. So this is the project folder structure that we got when we ran the command npx create react app project name. That's what we did in the previous episode, episode number two. So make sure that if you are new here, if you are joining us for the first time on this particular uh, uh, tutorial, please do check out episode number two so that you have, uh, you know how to create the application. All right. So I will just write a note here that I will assume that you have watched episode number two and have the project set up locally right so that is this is how you would get your project now let's start looking at each and everything so the first things that you should look at is there would be a pack the node underscore modules right folder which is nothing but this are the dependencies that are installed right that are installed when we run npm install right and remember that whenever you see node modules right they come from your package.json file so whenever you see node modules you will also see a package.json file i will talk about it in just a bit so hold on to that thought all right so the next module that you will see is the public you'll see a public folder right now this is nothing but this is where you have your all your assets or uh, fav icon index.html this is the output that you would keep or i would say this is the public folder through which your application will be accessed right like your html is here right so if you see in, in, into the index.html right so when you see your index.html you would have a element which says div id equal to root right you will have something like this in your index.html so open public open index.html and you will see this div root right so this is nothing but it's just a template right and when you open this you will not see anything it's empty it doesn't have any code in it right the code will automatically come and sit inside this root right so if you see this particular HTML, it is empty, right? The index.html file by default will be empty, right? So when someone opens it, right? When someone opens it, they won't find anything, right? 
just like a single page application SPA right so what happens in single page application is single page application is the the data the elements the components are all rendered dynamically right dynamically into the element in our case that element is this right so the elements are directly rendered into this element which is div id equal to root check it again here div id is equal to root we will come back to this once we see the source okay we'll come back to this i'll show you in the browser okay hold on to again to that thought the next thing that you will see is a source folder right now this is the heart this is the the place where all the place where all action happens okay so most of the time you will find yourself writing here okay now here by default there are few things that you would see the first thing that you would see is app.css the default style sheet that's created okay then you would see something called app.js now this is nothing but a simple uh, it has the it's a component think of it this as a component one single um, feature or component that you can think at this point of time right app is a component let's say right is a single component right which has which renders some code right now in this case it is rendering this app right div header and it is giving this image and learn react so think of this app as a simple component for now okay simple component which has header image and some text don't worry about what is where yet then you would see something called app.test.js this is a test file for this js file every app.js will have a test.js okay this is where you are testing the, the your logic that's written in app.js okay so this is the test file for app.js right cool then how are these all linked to the index.html right how are they all linked they are linked using index.js so this is your main file through which app is called right so the flow is like this you have index.html which calls index.js which internally calls app.js this is how the flow will be right first you have the index.html it will call index.js right what it would do it would it you are calling a component which is app then this will go into this app and build and then finally it will bring the output inside the root directory so this is how the flow would be right then this is the file right which has the app component definition or calling app component which is calling calling app component once you get the data that data is returned to index.html so you from index so it's usually like this actually in the opposite way if i have to say i'll say like this app will go inside index index will go inside index.html right and then it will also have a index.css right which is nothing but the source uh, like css right style sheet so this will have a index.css which is style sheet common style sheet right so why do we need common why do we need separate so this is a default component style sheet right? component style sheet means whatever you write here will be used only by this app but whatever you create here will be used by all components which are being called inside index.js so for example if index.js is calling say one more app uh, let's comp that component name is in app2.js so the style that you create here can be applied to both 
app and app2 right so app.css is specific to app index.css is common to all the components which are inside index.js all right uh, then you have service worker if you want to work offline if you want your application to work offline we can use you want to, uh, for app to work offline we can use that service worker i will cover that later in a dedicated uh, episode and set up set up tests now this is all your configuration that is going into what you are using to test now here we are using zest right so this is adds custom zest matchers for asserting on dom nodes right so you can set up those uh, tests that you want here top custom test scripts setups okay so that is there and that is the source folder and then finally we have package.json which is nothing but uh, which is nothing but it will have all the dependencies listed right so this is the main file which tells all the uh, dependent dependent libraries that are and modules right so if you want to see just click on it and you will see uh, it has the scripts right so remember this has the scripts scripts now what do I mean by script so script means start build test eject these are the scripts that you will run the command so when you run npm run start it does this in the background right so we'll see we'll see that all of that in the coming so start test etc those are all the scripts and then you will also see list of dependencies so if you see these are all the dependencies that it requires react react dom react scripts there are a lot of dev dependencies internally that will be resolved in package lock right so you don't worry about that that's not our job right so that basically covers all your app and how do you, how do you run that right uh, let me just keep it here for your reference let me just throw all of this here okay now um, so this is where we are so if you want to see how to run it like I showed you go to package and see the script that is used here the script is start so all you have to do is npm run start if you want to build you will write npm run build if you want to test you will write npm run test if you want to eject you will just say npm run eject so now see it's running react script start so react script start that's what it's doing so once it is done it will tell us that it's ready and it will launch it on its own let's give just one quick second so if you see this if it's taking time or something don't panic sometimes it takes bear with it Oh, sorry. Just do npm start. Okay, it is still doing, so it's taking time. But yeah, I don't want to hold you till there. Uh, go ahead. It will once it is done, it will tell you that it's ready. It's compiled, and you can see it in the development. It will automatically open the browser for you with the output let's wait okay so here you see it says starting the development server and let's give it one more time uh, some more time to totally start it and get it up and running if you have any doubts during this particular episode or any of these files or folder structure do let me know in the comment section I'll be happy to answer them all right so it's it's starting the development server let's just give one quick second usually it doesn't take this long but again it depends from machine to machine uh, if it's faster on your machine do drop in in the comments that 
the machine is faster all right so it has compiled successfully now you can see view your uh, our tutorials project in the browser and run the command npm run build right so you can see here it's running and we have it open and let me show you the page source that's interesting because see there is still no code you see here it still says div id equal to root so when you open the code you don't see anything right but now right click and inspect element and you would see our app that we built it is dynamically injected right that is the beauty of single page application and modern frameworks that they compile the javascript they convert it into html and inject them dynamically into the screen and you see it's automatically responsive it will grow and shrink so this is the app which is injected dynamically this is the app that we just saw here in app.css and app.js under source right and this is dynamically injected again right click view source you will not see anything right so just like angular right even angular does the same so understand this code go through the project folder structure in the next episode i'm going to take baby steps with you and show you hello world program of deleting some of the code cleaning up making it simple and having a hello world simple program on react js i hope you're enjoying i hope you're following if you're loving it please drop them in the comment section your feedback i am loving the positive response you have given to the series thank you so much and i'll see you in the next episode